Shalom, royal family. The class you are about to hear is taught by the Honorable Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe, many years ago. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Visit us at www.yahweh144000.com. Also, royal family, you can enroll in classes designed for the Godhead at www.universityofyahweh.org And also, royal family and friends, we want to share with you Yahweh's Keys to Riches. And on that YouTube channel, you can listen to Yahweh's Daily Word and keep up with the correct solar time each and every day. We'd like to see you there as well. Go to Yahweh's Keys to Riches. It's in the description below so that you can join us there as well. Remember, when you get there, just like here, remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channels. All right, Royal Family, we look forward to seeing you there as well. Enjoy. I can see my principle. And all these things will come to you. Why weren't we taught this from birth? Two reasons. One, our parents didn't know this. So let's don't be angry with them. They just didn't know this. Well, why did not our parents know this? It is because those who oppressed us did not allow them to be taught. Well, how did we get to be in a position where we were oppressed in the first place? Because we went away from the laws of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. And when we fail to practice the laws of Yahweh, he put us in this condition. And I believe it's in the book, probably, of Deuteronomy, where we would be made a proverb and a byword. Where is that? All right, First Kings. Good. You, at least you got a good memory. Right. First Kings, chapter nine, verses five through nine. Told you what would happen if you forget. Also, we were told in Deuteronomy, yes, chapter 28, verse 15, what would happen? Say that all kinds of curses would overcome us, catch up with us, and destroy everything we touch. And 37. Deuteronomy 28, 37. verse 37. Let's take a look at that right quick. Let's look at verse 32, it's more important. Because I want to answer, how did we get into this condition? Verse 32, read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. Have we been given to another people? Have our sons and daughters been given to another people? Why? We disobey. Verse 15, Deuteronomy 28, 15. Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken, unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Yahweh, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes 
would I command you this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. To be given to another people, to be sold in slavery to another people, is a curse from God. Why? We didn't listen to his commandment. Now, how many admit living in America has been a curse for us? How many are tired of the curse? Then the answer is simple. What got you into the curse? Do the opposite and it'll get you out. What got us into the curse? Disobedience. What will get us out from under the curse? Obedience. What got us into hell? Been given to another people? Unethical conduct. What's going to get us out? Ethical conduct. That makes me a good man to come and rescue you. I'm offering you a lifeline. You've been singing a song, throw me the lifeline. Throw me the lifeline. Well, here I am. I heard you. So now I'm throwing you the lifeline. Will you take it? Praise God. That's the issue. So simple. Now, I am here to make an appeal to all people to be moral, to practice ethical conduct. I realize that not all people will accept the challenge to be moral and to practice ethical conduct. But the mercy of my father Yahweh is to send me and offer you the solution. And provide you with clear arguments. So clear that even if you're a fool, you don't have to fall victim to unethical conduct. You've been suffering long enough. I promise to come. After 400 years, I'm here. I know the problem because I've been a part of it. You cannot claim that I have not suffered what you suffered. I was suffering before most of you were born, so I know the problem. I can explain the problem better than most of you. You know the problem, but you never found the answer. I come with the answer, the solution. I have proven what got us into trouble. We disobeyed the laws of our God, Yahweh. We were unethical. So we were given, and our sons and daughters were given to another people. I have come to take you who are tired of being under another people away from them. I'm here to take you from them. And they cannot do anything about that. Hey, God, I am here. Fulfill what I promised your patriarchal fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That was to bring you into a land that would have many great, goodly cities in it. And give it to every one of you that received me. And accept my solution of righteousness, holiness, 
ethical conduct, I'm going to give it to you. And people in the police department are coming up and saying to me, we are glad you're here, Yahweh bin Yahweh. Do you want a list from us? We can give you a list of some terrible places. We want you to have it. We want you to have it. We support you, Yahweh bin Yahweh. We are the police and we believe in you and what you are doing. We see your result. Now the officers that said that are ethical officers. An unethical police officer will not say that to them. An unethical police officer loves to see drugs in the neighborhood. They may be selling some. They may be taking payoffs from those who sell it. But see, the police department has ethical officers in it. And they're happy to see a moral man on the scene today with the plan. So now, right? I don't need a gun for it. <laughs> the people with guns already back me up. <laughs> I inherit all things. Whatever I need, I inherit that. I don't have to buy the earth, I'm going to inherit it. My inheritance. I'm bound up to show my character, my nature, my will, my desire. I'm a good shepherd. All right-thinking people appreciate what I'm teaching. All right-thinking people. Let's look at Joshua 24 again. Verse 12 and 13. And I sent the hornet before you, which drove them out from before you, even the two kings of the Amorites, but not with thy sword, nor with thy bow. And I have given you a land for which ye did not labor, and cities which ye built not, and ye dwell in them, as the vineyards 
and olive logs which ye planted not, do ye eat. Yahweh, the same yesterday. Hebrews 13, 8. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. Maybe Yahweh is unable to do the same thing today. See, maybe he can't do it. Let's turn to Hebrews 13, 8 and see. Read. Yahweh then Yahweh the same yesterday and today and forever.